another area I think where there's um, a lot of uncertainty in the current clinical landscape and opportunities for uh, clinical development of new strategies, adjuvant therapy here, uh, this article that again had an opportunity to publish uh, with a, a group of great co-investigators from across the North American um, intergroup looking at uh, how we might develop uh, new interventions in the uh, in the setting of late recurrence for ER positive disease. We understand that late recurrences of ER positive breast cancer are common and uh, to date the strategies have focused on extending standard endocrine treatment into this population where we see a small absolute benefit of extended endocrine treatment beyond five years, as well as looking at technologies that, which may help to identify patients who could benefit from extended or escalated treatment in that late recurrent setting. So one of those focuses is obviously um, the detection of minimal residual disease or molecular residual disease using ctDNA or CTCs. So these are technologies which uh, we're seeing a lot of active research about, um, which we hope, both in this late recurrence uh, ER positive setting that we're, this article is focused on, as well as in other settings in the uh, post-definitive treatment space as uh, adjuvant therapy may permit more precision or uh, targeted strategies with the use of the many uh, emerging drugs that are becoming available, that are available or are becoming available here, both for ER positive disease, the focus of that um, uh, paper or in other areas of breast cancer as we're seeing.